Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, by request. Um, I, I mean, the, the request was ages ago, but we're finally here with it. So we're gonna watch it. This is the first Metal Gear Solid game that I've ever played, so let's let's enjoy it. Shit, comms are down. We've got a bit of an audio bridge here. I'm just gonna turn it down in my headphones. Okay. I'm gonna, I assume I'm not supposed to be seen. It is no nation we inhabit, but a language. Make no mistake, our native tongue is our true fatherland. Okay. Cool. Right. Yeah, so, like I said, I'm coming into this completely blind. I know this much about the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Um, just another day in a war without end. Outer Haven. Okay. I know that the guy's name is Snake or something. Solid Snake, maybe? Sounds right. Um, from the man who sold the world. Hey, that's a David Bowie song, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a David Bowie song. Maybe it's Nirvana. No, Nirvana covered David Bowie, see? Oh, he's got a metal hand. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's very, very good graphics, I guess. Okay. I'm waiting. I'm ready. Okay. Kojima Productions. See, I, I have paid a bit of attention to it. Not the game, but, you know, just the, um... Because they... Didn't they fire Hideo Kojima? So he's not really involved anymore. So this is David Bowie. Yeah! Ha! Nailed it! I'm so smart. I am so smart. Oh, I can move. Yeah. It's a weird version of it, though, isn't it? Sounds weird. I do like, um... This song. I mean, can I move, or...? No, I'm just sitting here. Okay. I mean, I, I kind of want to do stuff. No, I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever been sick where I couldn't see stuff like this. But that's fine. I mean, am I supposed to be doing anything? I literally have no idea. Or are we just listening to the man who sold the world? And, um and watching the credits roll. Okay. Sup, man? Oi! I'm alive! Oh, hey! Yes! iDroid! What's iDroid? Oh, cool. So the music got turned down a bit, and so now I'm awake. Sweet. What's up, man? Can I, like, get up, or...? Uh, I guess not. Extended cutscene. Right. Just waiting for my chance to play the game. I mean, it's, it's very, it's very slick, it's very well made. It's a bl British, that British flag over there. Okay. Uh. Oi. Can I get up or? Who's this lady? Can I? I want to see her name tag. Get back, Simon. What's up? Ah. Ah. Oh, I got. I got a screenshot of my um. I mean, do they not see me move my head? I guess my head wasn't actually moving. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. So. I'm five minutes into a movie. V has come to. Okay. 
Lucky I have a beverage. V has come to. V, huh? Oh. Oh, I'm not even in the game yet. Okay. Right. Let's start the game. That was the that was the opening sequence. Oh wow, that was elaborate. Okay. Okay, like I said, I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game before, so. So I guess Who's that's Okay, same thing again. Kinda tired of the uh of the uh blurry doctor Who's thing. Man? Okay. Yeah. What's up, man? Do you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Having difficulty speaking? No. Can you move your head? Yes. Just nod if you can hear me. I did that. Oh my god. That's not even the right control. I'm using the mouse. Ugh. Look up, please. Sure. Very good. All uh, right. How do you feel now? Great. Can you speak? Yes. What is your name? What when is your you favorite color? Can you recall? What is the airspeed of an unladen swallow? Okay, enter your name. Only alphabet characters and characters with certain diet diacritical marks can be used. Oh, okay. My name is... Oh. oh my god. There we go. Okay, uh, enter. Right? Uh, my birthday is gonna be... June... Fourth. There we go. Nice. Sure. Good. Now then. Now then what? Please try to relax. No. There is plenty of- I will not relax! I need to tell you something. Okay. Please listen and try not to panic. It's 1984. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Okay. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. Uh. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Well, that's a long time. Whoever you are. Calm down. Calm down. Try not to panic. Just gonna get some drugs up in me. Try not to panic. I'm not panicking. You'll be all right. Good. Because it would be weird if I wasn't. Credits. By Hideo Kojima. Hideo, sorry. I don't know. Must be Hideo. Oh, what's that? I feel like I blink too much. It's been one week oh. since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Uh, I feel like don't worry you've lost some strength but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages CPM therapy and EMS okay now I need to explain something to you but you must not be alive okay nine years ago you were injured in an explosion Right. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. Mm -hmm. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Yep, sounds right. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull okay 
I assume that people that play this series would be able to know what all this is about. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. Okay. We couldn't give you an MRI. The metal, you see. Why is she blurry? But even if we were to extract Why is he not blurry and she is? A brain hemorrhage. Okay. Mental and physical impairments are unavoidable. Right. However, your current status is not life threatening. One more thing. This X ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult. Why can't I see things, but please man? Please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. Okay. Oh no! I mean, yes, yes. Calm down. I don't know if you could have yes. showed that in a more sort of theatrical, dramatic way. Yes. Terrible doctor. Terrible bedside manner. Terrible. Mm. Okay. Right? I want to, like, get up and do stuff. I want to do stuff! It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. Okay. You should be dead, but you're not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. Okay. It's a wide open world up there. So there's something we need to take care of first. Is that the game's way of telling me that it's an uh, open world? I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however. Okay. Like I said, I have no... Oh, they can make me black. <laughs> I mean... That's... That's cool, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, they've got it all covered. That guy looks cool. Um, who else is there? Apparently they can make me much younger as well. Um, I mean... Yeah, no, I'm not... I'm not... I don't think I'm really on board. The <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go... We're gonna go with this guy. He looks kind of old and angry. I like it. Sure. Um, what am I doing? No, no. Okay. Hairstyle. Uh, we'll just go with the first one, I guess. Eyebrow style. We want... We want big ones. There we go. We'll have those. And facial hair type. Um, <laughs> Wolverine styles. Weird mustache. Nah. It's clean shaven. It's actually not bad. We'll go with that, sure. Facial hair length. Yep, sure. And I like his white hair, yep. Cool. And what? Change his brow. No, I'm happy. I'm happy with the rest of this. Yep. Nope. Oh, I can change his scars. Oh, cool. So we're really gone. So I can get his I can get his face looking like that. This looks like the kind of thing that you would see on Facebook. Um, someone saying, I don't know why I can't get a job. And they have this tattoo. That's just 
Looks like someone slapped him with a paintbrush. I don't know. That's just not great. Oh, man. I feel like I'm definitely in the wrong, uh, the wrong game here because none of this, none of this looks cool to me. None of this seems like cool. Like that, those scars are cool though. I'm kind of down for the scars. Yeah? I've always liked, um, giving my character some scars. Okay, there we go. Yep, there we go. That's fine. That's my dude. That's Mr. Jacobs. I mean, we can change his skin color and stuff. I'm surprised we can't change his gender. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. R right. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. So you changed the truth. Just these that. bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Ahab? Forget everything. Your name, your past. So I'm not going to say anything about that? I just watched that and I don't say anything? That seems really weird. That seems exceptionally weird. Okay. So... This is you, as you've lived until this day. Right. Tomorrow, it becomes... a phantom. I mean, why wouldn't I say something to him? Disturbing. I mean, wasn't he already dead? What is the point of the tasteful cutaway in that instance? That's my question. Not yet. The patient in the next bed saw my face. Of course. Okay. So who's this person? I mean, what do I do here? Just get killed? I mean, is that someone I'm supposed to know? I don't know. Okay. Right. So... Looks really wet. Okay. So she just killed me, I guess. That's my game over screen. I lost. I should have done something different. Okay. Now she's on fire, I guess. It seems weird that she's on fire. Was it the hi hydrogen peroxide? Right. Okay. Okay. 
I have a hook. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I, we gave her a life. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. I've been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, you're in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you to be. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. So, I'm talking to myself. So he's not actually here, I guess? Need a little pick-me-up? Or he is here? Okay. Here. <sighs> Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Follow me. Yep. I'm going to stand up, I guess. Drugs not working. Um I am definitely going to stand up. It's going to happen. See, the problem I have with this is I'm not actually really, I don't know. I'm not really in control of any of this. Like, this guy has wild, uh, he's wildly misinterpreted the situation. Why am I looking at his leg? His leg looks weird. Okay. Right. I'm uh I'm taking the stairs. I'm not sure what this guy wants of me. Um I mean, am I going to stand up soon? Uh yep. There's a wheelchair right there, man. Put me in the freaking wheelchair. Oh, I can see his butt. Nice. Very nice. Why do I keep looking behind me? Okay, can I can I stand up now? Okay. <sighs> you know. I think that it may be that I just haven't played any Hideo Kojima games because this opening is a very, it's making a massive assumption about how much tolerance I have for not being able to play. We're now 23 minutes in and uh, I mean, I guess this is gameplay, but I, I just, you know. It's fine, I guess. Okay. What the hell is that? Something's coming. Okay, that seems weird. Right. I mean, I guess it's following that old uh, maxim of get your main characters and do bad stuff to them. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't know what that is. I guess I kind of thought these games were sort of realistic. I mean, that's kind of cool looking, but I don't know. Did he just get taken out because of there's, there's a sprinkler? Is that what happened? He lost because there was a, a, a sprinkler? Okay. Okay, guys. I'm... That's fine. The sprinkler seemed to be working on everything but the fire, so... 
And I can't imagine that I'm any better at walking now. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can get up now. I got exploded, but now it's time to get up. Oh. Uh. Right. Oh. See, the thing is, this might be harrowing, but I basically don't feel like there's anything that I can do. Do you know what I mean? Games aren't scary when you're on, like, really hard rails. Do you know what I mean? This, this isn't even, like, half rails. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, you're definitely going to go through and do this stuff. Um, like, like the start of Mass Effect 1, you have to go and do a bunch of stuff. Even though... You know, or in Mass Effect 2, sorry, even though the ship's definitely going to burn down, you're sort of doing stuff, and then the ship gets exploded, spoilers or whatever, you're still sort of in control, and you can run around, and you can do stuff, and there's fire. I just don't feel like I, I'm, I don't feel like I can do anything. I just have to press W. I'm sitting here pressing W, and the game is happening to me. That's the problem. The game is happening to me. I'm not actually playing, so... I mean, the story's great, that's fine, but I don't actually feel like I'm playing a game. Yeah. Next time do it yourself. It's always good to try and mend your injuries while hiding from the enemy. Right. A little bit more tutorial stuff. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, if there were, like, choices or anything, I mean, not that there needs to be choices, but if there were, like, even, like, quasi-choices, like, telltale choices, where it's, like, there's a choice, but it, there's not actually a choice, that would be cool. That would give me an idea that maybe there was actually something to do. Okay. Oh, now I'm in control. Okay. Now I kind of feel like I can do stuff. Right. Okay. Keep and quiet. How do I go prone? That's what they're about to tell me, right? There we go. See, now we're doing stuff. We're only 30 minutes in. And now we're sort of in control of stuff. Sort of. Sort of. A 30 minute tutorial cutscene is what we've got here. And we're better off than this guy for some reason. Help me. He's gonna shoot him in the head. Oh, yeah. Nice. But that guy didn't see us for some reason. Right. I mean, we've established that they're bad guys, right? Right. I mean... I don't know, man. So I'm not actually afraid here. Because, like I said, I had no control over choosing any of this stuff. And so, either, yeah, it's not harrowing. That's the, that's the thing, is it's not harrowing. It's supposed to be harrowing. It has all the hallmarks of being a harrowing experience, and I've said harrowing like 40 times. But it is not harrowing. I am not, my, my heart's not pumping faster, I'm not excited. It's very beautifully produced, but it is a movie. And, it, and it's a movie at the moment where I know what's going to happen, because... Help me! I don't want to die! Right. So then that guy's like... So then that guy was like, why was that, who was that guy talking to? I have no idea. 
Maybe it's this foot that's still sticking out under the bed. Oh, I'll go look somewhere else, I guess. Okay. We're going. Oh, we got a checkpoint. All right. And they're just gonna get gunned down through the window. Time to walk. Press the stance button to stand up. Did that guy just tell me to press the stance button to stand up? Don't get caught in those searchlights. Here they come. Wait, what? Action. Okay, so I actually died there. Don't you die on me. They have. I actually they have, have no idea what it meant by cover. Okay, I don't need I don't walk. Press the stance button to stand up. Okay. Don't get caught in those searchlights. What is action? I don't... Okay, I have no idea what... Action. Approach an obstacle like a wall. And hug the... To, as a wall, head on to hug the obstacle and conceal yourself. Okay, while in cover, you can use L to move along the obstacle or L toward the edge of the obstacle. Okay, well, I have no idea what that means, but that's fine. Right. Okay. Hiding from the helicopter. Okay. See, now I'm starting to feel a little bit harrowed. Can I move? Oh. Oh, what's that? Okay. Right, so there's a guy coming. Go, 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 go! Okay. Why did I stop? I don't understand what the stop was about, but that's fine. Okay, now lock that door. Or put something in front of it, I guess? Right. I mean, there is a lock right there. I don't know why they're cutting the lock. It's not locked. He didn't lock it. He just shut the door. Move, go. Okay. Let's go, team. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Right, so this is another tutorial spot. Are they following me? Where are ya? I feel like those guys are following me. Okay. I'm a Grigola. Come on. Okay. Won't those guys just shoot through the bars? <sighs> what's happening out there? It's all right. We'll be okay. I can't see what's happening. Okay. Do you hear that? What's going on out there? Um, okay. Why am I, uh, see the camera change? It's like, why am I over his shoulder now? Am I him or, uh? I'd know that ass anywhere. Right. 
right, yeah. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen. So he said that he's me. Right. Okay. Okay. No way they would have heard that, I guess. Okay. Right. Yep, I got got. Whoops, I didn't realize they were gonna do that. Don't you die on me. Hopefully there's a checkpoint there. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. Okay. Let's go down. Is it this is where my friend's hiding? Okay. Let's come over here. Okay, no idea what they just shot, but that's fine. Okay. Right. And we'll move down here and we'll hide. Isn't my friend in that other one there? Isn't he, isn't my friend just about to get killed? Okay, no, he's not. Okay. Right. He waited just long enough for him to hide. And there I am hiding as well. Like, okay. <laughs> People like really rant and rave about this game. It's it's very pretty. I can't even I can't even see myself. Okay. So what are we doing now? Ah, oh, we're oh we're stuck now. Can't see his arms poking out from under the bed. I guess. These guys are not smart. The opposite of smart. Okay. Right. Anything? Negative. He came in here. Keep looking. So they're definitely looking for me. I want to get tooled up, man. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to follow you, but I don't have control yet. Oh, there we go. Where are we going? Oh. We're sitting ducks. Blend in with the bodies. Get down on your stomach and crawl. Okay. Okay, I am playing dead. There's no way that they'll notice that we're not full of holes and that we're breathing and that I'm actually looking up. Look at that. I am so good at hiding. Oh, geez. They're shooting dead bodies now. Ah. And he's all like, don't move or we're dead. Uh, is he gonna shoot a rocket at us? Uh, I mean, this seems like... Uh, 
Right. So they just stop before they shoot us. The ones who are clearly alive. The ones who crawled here. Okay. Did he pee his pants? Is that what we're taking from that? He peed his pants. Oh, we needed a close up. Couldn't let it go with a subtlety. So now, don't they just shoot us here? Right. Didn't they just see him move his head? Right. Okay. So, there's this guy again. But there's no sprinklers to put him out. They don't have the one thing that can stop him. Sprinklers. Fight that? I don't I don't really think you do, right? Okay. There's a helicopter. But it's gonna leave now. Oh, he's got a gun now. Okay. And I still have no idea what that is. Right. He's still alive. And he's still wearing some clothes or something. Right. I mean, he's kind of cool, I guess. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to recognize him. He might have more of an impact if, if I knew who he was. I don't. I do not, though. But if his purpose was to kill us, surely he would have just let them kill us. The sprinkler. The only thing that stops him. <laughs> In your face. See, even that could have been me doing that. No. Yeah, so even that could have been me. Like, give me the gun and like, give me like a time limit to, to get that done so that I can feel some of this stress but hold on we better stop and treat that injury okay okay let's go i'm running dun, dun. all right i'm all healed up so he's got a gun but i don't we'll, have to take the stairs now. well no duh I was down there before, but he said not to go that way, so. Ooh, I'm on fire. Guys, how do I, how do I not be on fire? I guess I, I guess I don't. Um, well, we can't do anything about the fire. Where did, he, where did my friend go? Okay.
He is much shorter than me. Alright. Oh. Good shot. Now I get to have his gun, right? That only makes sense. That's only fair. Right. So here comes Mr. Fireman. Okay. There we go. Tab. Uh. Ooh. There we go. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, controls and oh my god, no. So, apparently the mouse... Oh, this is... It's ported. Okay. Controls. Great. So, I have no, I have no idea what I'm doing. At least R is reload. And I don't know how to... I don't know how to just... There we go. Let's have this. No, let's have this one. There we go. We got a machine gun. Okay, well. Huh, I had control for a minute. We're 47 minutes in. This is a long video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to have some gameplay, but we're just... I mean, I, I know that shooting things does not is not the end-all and be-all of gameplay, but I was kind of hoping to do something. So far, I've hidden that little... That little bit where I had to hide and the thing was pretty good. And, you know, the, the whole story is like, okay, I guess. They come in and murder all these people in this hospital. It's okay. I'll run interference. Okay. Now what do I do, I guess, is the question. Oh, I'm out of bullets, I see. Can I go out? I can't go out. Uh, I think I was supposed to stealth. Okay. I have no idea. Can I get can I get the guns from the people? I don't know, man. Right. I mean I don't I don't know, man. I don't there's no melee or anything. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm definitely not restarting the mission. That would be crazy. Um, okay. So, I get down here. And can I, like, stealth kill him? No. I'm definitely gonna die again. So that's fun. I'll just get down here, reload. Okay. Alright, there we go. We'll stand back up. 
suppressing fire, huh? Nope, not gonna hit him. There we go, let's jump down. Oh, okay. So I guess the point of that was that I was actually supposed to sneak around, but I definitely did not do that. I need my gun. Okay. Okay. So I don't know where my friend went. And there's this guy over here, and I'm gonna kill him. Oh, there he is. He made it out. Because he's actually imaginary or something. It's a twist. Boom, twist. Okay. There's a tank. Okay. Uh, what is this stuff happening? Seriously, I thought this was a spy game. But there's all this like weird spooky like fear type stuff happening. It's weird. Okay. Right. Okay, I guess there's our way out. Oh, no, that's not our way out. They blo She blocked it. Right, in the reflection. I'm, I'm, we're still not out of the tutorial level, that's the thing here. To keep in mind, still in the tutorial. It would be cool if he burned the ground where he walks. I mean, we already know that the only thing that can stop him is sprinklers. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Oh my god. Seriously? Okay. I did a quick dive. Good job, team. We don't want to get killed by the tank, I guess. Da -dun -dun -da -da. We're back to uh, not actually being in control anymore. Yep. I mean. It's all very beautifully rendered. Okay. Here's the tank. Right? 
Tank was able to take that, I guess. Uh, I'm probably more like APC, sorry. We'll just leave. Time to go. Cool. We did our thing, so now it's cutscene time. Yep, I'm really good at this game, guys. I totally beat the uh, thing. I died, actually. It's true. I died playing the tutorial level of Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain. I was not phantom enough. Yep. I've got the gun. I mean... Do I shoot him or something, or...? Cool. So I just wasted all my ammo. I figured there was nothing to do. Get in! Uh, let's go, man. So now I don't have the gun anymore. Bye! Bye! Ah -ha. <laughs> why? Why did the... Why did the fire engine crash? That is so dumb! Okay. watching, right? Yep, so we hit that. Killed that guy. Okay, and we're unconscious again. Fun. That's fantastic. Right? The imaginary guy's gone. And... We're upside down. Cool beans. And that attack helicopter's still here. Okay. I mean, are they gonna... Shoes or whatever, or is it a whale? Oh, that was a whale. I was just thinking that we need a unicorn.
I, I, I'm kind of at a loss here, guys. I literally have no idea. I'm on your side. Why? Hurry! Hurry! There was a whale, and now there's a unicorn, and now this guy turns up. I mean, Watch our backs. Shoot him. Fire Justice is about to attack. Okay. Fire Justice, he's about to attack. Oh, I got hit. Yep. Okay. And I'm reloading. I don't know why this guy doesn't just let the other guys kill me. I don't know what the, the purpose behind him chasing me is. It seems kind of pointless. He keeps saving me from the other guy. It's like, oh, we rode through some fire. Okay. And no, I missed him. There we go. You can stay back there, man. You can stay all the way back there. I got it, man. I got it. Got it. Yeah, you can just hang out back there. You get him? Um, I guess. We shook him off. Did we? It definitely didn't. I got it. I mean, I was not. I was not uh, waiting to get shot at. I knew he was there. Oh, we're almost out of bullets, though. Yeah. Okay. And it started raining. That's how we're almost there. Just gonna take a stab in the dark and say, we're about to be unconscious again. Just, I'm just guessing. We're not unconscious, okay. It's pretty cool. So, I think my issue, I just, oh, I just got an achievement. I got a, I got A. Is that the highest? I don't know. Um, perfect stealth, no kills. No enemy combat alerts, no retries, no reflex, no combat alerts. No, I definitely... Um, so what was that thing that I actually got? Completed the mission without allowing the man on fire to attack even once after meeting up with Ocelot. Okay, I got that. I took a bunch of hits. I got some headshots, neutralizations, markings, effective interrogations, prisoners rescued. Okay. Okay. I mean, I keep looking for a good place to end it, but, you know, I, I want to, I wanted to get to where we were, like, in the world, but I guess it's just not going to happen. I don't think I've been this hard on rails for a long time. Here's that thing again. We're in the gas mask, I guess. And that guy's hanging out in the rain now, I guess. So. 
Oh, we've got some more. Sorry, guys. We have some more credit sequences. We need. Yep. Oh my god. The amount of credits in this opening tutorial sequence, which is now over an hour. Ugh. The name's Ocelot. Big boss. You know who I am. A certain man gave me a job to do. Two, actually. First was to get you out of that hospital. You did Second was to rescue the man himself. You did a terrible job. You did, you did not get me out of the hospital. You remember? Your partner nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. <sighs> okay. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. Okay. I guess that's what I have to do then. First, we need to save Miller. He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Oh, he said something. <clears throat> he said Afghanistan. Well, nice. Can't keep up with world affairs in a coma. Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. <sighs> the Reds' 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. The squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Now, in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. He'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. Okay. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. Well, there's our ride. Whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now it's seven days to Port Kasim, another three overland. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. Okie dokie. I mean, I guess if I was a fan of this game, all these things would make sense. At the moment, I've seen Hide Hideo Kojima's name come up like 40 times, which is fine, I guess. You know, it's like listening to a Jason Derulo song. You know, you're gonna hear the dude's name, I guess. Chapter 1, Revenge. So that was the prologue. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, there's nowhere to pause it. I suppose I could have ended on the end of that mission. I should have done that. Sorry, guys. Port said. Saeed or whatever. Yeah. Your arm looks terrible. Let me stab it. We've got some bullets, I guess. Oh no! Hey, I happen to have this cool cybernetic hand. That'll work. But it's missing a finger. For some reason. Mm, yep. And now we're helicoptering. Here we are. And we're back to total health with zero, uh... Zero, oh gosh, 
I can't remember what the name of it is. Why can I not remember what it's called? When you... Nope. It's when you get better, you know, when you have to, like, work... Physical therapy. There we go. That kind of stuff. That's fine. He, he stabbed him. It was fine. Okay. Okay, so, now let's pause. I'm gonna leave it there. That's an hour and ten minutes of... Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. There were some Phantom. There was some Pain. There was some... Gameplay. I think there might be, like, ten minutes of me actually doing stuff. So... And you got my delicious commentary over the top of all that. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um... Like and subscribe, all that stuff. And if you want to see me play more of this, I am happy to. I mean, apparently there's stuff to do. Apparently there is a game in here somewhere. So, um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Class dismissed.